Hi, this is uh, Bob from Hobby Concepts, and today I'm here to talk about track mixing with the FlySky PL18 EV radio. Now, this radio has some great uh, built in mixes available. I'm going to show how to mix a uh, single stick to the to the dual stick so you can use multiple sticks to drive it. I've got a little uh, tracked vehicle demonstrator here so it fits on the desktop so we can see it move around. Track mixing is great for tanks, bulldozers, robots, anything where you have a joystick steering. So let's get started. Track mixing um, is a little bit like uh, I don't know, voodoo. <laughs> it's an interesting uh, thing to do. Uh, so here's my radio, uh, the PL18 EV. And we're going to start out with the blank radio. Now, I showed how this works with my 60 pound bulldozer, but it's just too hard to have that on the bench and show everything. So I whipped out this little uh, tracked machine here. I put two speed controls on it. So I can demonstrate the track mixing and you can kind of see how everything goes. I use a little two cell LiPo battery back here and I'll use a FlySky um, 8 channel receiver up here. Now you can see that when I put two speed controls in I have to pull the red wire out of one of the plugs because these feed power to the receiver and I don't like both of them feeding power to the receiver. So I'm going to go ahead and bind this, throw this battery on here with some rubber bands, and then we're going to talk about track mixing. And I'm going to go through every little detail, um, how to plug it in, and, and pretty much everything. I think it'll be pretty straightforward. So I've got my little uh, demo unit set up here. And the left track is plugged into channel 4, and the right track is plugged into channel 3. So now I've actually programmed this radio and you can see how nice it works with the joystick or with the levers. Really works great. Um, pretty easy to do. So now I'm going to show you exactly how to program that from scratch. So I'll unplug this and I'm going to zoom the... Uh, the lost. Yeah, I know the signal's lost. Turn this off. I'm going to zoom the camera in on this so we can concentrate on the programming. Alright, I've got this zoomed in. It's a little bit awkward for me to use this, so, you know, pardon me if I my fingers cover something. But the first thing we want to do is set up a new model. Okay, so we're going to switch models and we're going to switch to um, FlySky 5. Answer yes. So that's a brand new model. Alright, then the model structure we want to have left track and right track checked. Now sometimes those are checked. You want to uncheck them because we're using a, a left track and a right track steering system. I'll change the picture. Wish they had a bulldozer picture, but hey, can't have everything. Okay, so now we've got our bulldozer and we've got our, um, our correct model structure. So now what I want to do is go to the function assign and you can see I've got left track, right track um, and all the controls that they could be hooked to and we're going to use channel 3 for left track and channel 4 for right track. Now you can see that the left track and right track up here they're doubled. So that left track we're going to change it to aux 1 and that one we're going to change to aux 2 okay so now we have aux 1, aux 2, left track and right track. So the left track we're going to hook to channel 3 and channel 3 is going to be J3, which is that one right there. Okay, J3 and the right track to J4. Okay, left and right track, J3 and J4. Now, 
let's go back here and let's change our display um, to number one is going to be left track number two is going to be right track and number three is going to be aux one and number four is going to be aux two okay all that did was change this main display so we can see what controls do what okay and i don't have those assigned yet so right now we have this assigned channel three and channel four so now comes the mixing part and this is where it gets a little interesting so FlySky has built-in track mixing on this radio, and it works well. Um, but you'll notice I plugged my, my left track into channel 4, but I had to set my, my, uh, my left track to channel 3 on the radio, so you have to plug them in, in backwards. Maybe they'll fix that someday. I don't know, but that's the only little weird thing is you got to plug them in opposite of what you'd think. But you do that, it works well. So we're going to go to the... Here, let me go back. We'll go to the menu, to the second page, and we're going to go track mixing right here. We're going to turn it on. All right. We'll go back to our main menu. Now, you'll see when I move this stick, our two tracks go forward and backward. And when I do it side to side, they rotate. So I can go forward. And that's that's my track mixing. That's all there is to it. So now I should be able to plug in my little machine, and it should work. But these two don't do anything yet, and I want to hook those up. So we're going to go to those. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take function assign aux1 we're going to set it to VRE, which is this lever right here. And aux2, we're going to set to VRD. So now, I'll go back to my main menu. Now these actually do something, but you can see they don't do anything with the tracks yet. In order to do that, we need to set up a mix. So we're going to go here to mixes, not track mixing, but mixes. We're going to take linear mix one, and the master for linear mix linear mix one is going to be aux two. So we'll set it to aux two. Okay, and the slave is going to be channel three, left track. And we're going to turn it on, a little red thing, turn it on. Okay, and now for our second linear mix, it's going to be um, aux1. Aux1, and the slave is going to be the right track. Turn it on, go back to the main menu. So now, this still works exactly the same. But you can see these now work two channels at once. So you can drive it with these two, forward and reverse it with these two, or you can drive it with the stick here. And I'm going to zoom back out. We're going to plug this in and see if it worked. All right, zoom back out. I'm going to plug in my little machine here. And it's probably going to want us to bind it. Okay, so we're going to do that. We'll just shut this off. We'll go to receiver setup, bind with the receiver, hold that button down, turn the power on. Okay, now it's bound. We'll go back to the menu.
there we go. There's our forward and reverse. Our turn works just perfect. Forward and reverse with these two sticks. Works just perfect. And that's how you do track mixing with the Fly Sky PL18 EV radio. Um, there's actually another way to do track mixing, and you can just set up a, uh, a standard mix using the mixes, because there's a lot of mixes. But using the track mixing is pretty easy. You, can, you, can, you saw how I can uh, add these sticks in pretty simple. And uh, you can put those on any channel you want. I happen to pick 1 and 2, but you could pick, you know, 17 and 18, whatever. You got a lot of mixes in here. So track mixing uh, is, is a little weird, but when you get it done, boy, does it make it easy to drive these things. You know, you just uh, can whip it all over. So I love it. Um, it's the only way I'll set up my, my bulldozers and tanks. So there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it uh, explained another function on the PL18 EV radio. I just love this radio. So far, I'm super happy with it. Uh, I'm using it in all my personal models and uh, just really like the feel of it and the look of it and the easy programming. Uh, once you get used to it, it's super cool. And you can change the, the names of these channels too. I left Aux 1 and Aux 2, but you could put a custom name in there, anything you want. So there you go. Uh, give me a thumbs up for this video. I appreciate you watching. If you've got specific questions on the PL18 EV radio programming, you can go to the PL18 EV Facebook page, and if you put it there, a uh, question there, I'll probably see it, and I'll probably shoot a video about it. Um, as people learn to use this radio, um, there's just more and more features to be uncovered. So, thanks again for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.